Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we're up to number 60 out of our 1001 tarot spreads. This spread is referred to as the Peacemaker spread. It is for when you are having some sort of conflict, either with a loved one, a co-worker, someone who you want to maintain a healthy relationship with, and this is a series of six cards trying to elucidate why you're arguing. Let's get into it. For this reading, we're only going to use the Minor Arcana because this is about earthly problems. This is not about the high ideals. This is not about the forces that govern the... We will be using the Wisdom of the Owls Tarot for this demonstration, and we're going to get right into it with card number one. What or who is causing this conflict, is causing it to not be resolved. What needs addressed or who needs to be talked to? Card number two, do I have all the facts or am I responding emotionally before I have them all? Card number three, is there the possibility of compromise? Is the other person willing to compromise? Card number four, am I ready to compromise? Card number five, what cannot be overlooked or ignored? And card number six, what can just be benched? As we're not going to agree on it, but we also don't have to argue about it. We can table that so that it doesn't come up again. We can just agree not to talk about it. So with that explanation out of the way, let's go ahead and shuffle the minor arcana and have the demonstration. So we have card one, two, three, four, five. I need to scoot things over. And six. Oh boy. That's a lot of reversals. Okay. Card number one is the Ace of Wands, reversed. The Ace of Wands is the beginning of an intellectual endeavor or of some new knowledge, some new understanding coming to you. Being reversed, this is an old issue. You're kind of getting lost in the weeds looking for something new when it, you really need to be diving deeper looking for the root of the problem. This is not so much an outside person causing the problem in between the two of you. It is a, I would say, probably a definitional issue where you don't understand the definition of a word or a concept to be the same thing, where you each are operating under a different definition. So it's time to get back to basics. Find out what, your, what words are tripping you up when you're having your discussions with this individual and come to a consensus on what they mean. Card number two, we have the Ace of Cups. This card refers to the question of, do I have all the facts? Or am I responding emotionally before I've had a chance to gather them? The Ace of Cups is the beginning of an emotional understanding, of an emotional journey. Being reversed, I'm inclined to believe that you have the information you need and you're not being overly emotional about it. There's probably still some more that could be uncovered because it is still an ace. It is still a beginning. But I don't get the feeling you're being overly emotional about it. You're having natural human responses. Card number three is the Ten of Wands reversed. The Ten of Wands is normally a card of completion of you've got all your ducks in a row and you're just about to culminate if you have not just finished a major endeavor. Being reversed, instead this is, you're trying to do too much. You're trying to pull everything together, but it's not quite reaching it. In regards to the question, is the other party willing to compromise? At this point, I would say no. There's still 
trying to grab all of the various pieces and hold on to everything. They're, they're trying to hold their idea of the world or the conflict, their definitions, and are not yet willing to collaborate. They need to understand that it is okay to ask for help and that it is okay to delegate. Card number four, are you ready to compromise? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles typically represents a new financial opportunity or a new way to improve your home life. That might be a new relationship, that might be a new uh, purchase, something to improve how things feel at home. Being reversed and in the context of are you ready to compromise, I would say no. You feel like you have missed an opportunity. At least that's what this card is, is saying, is that there is, there is a desire to look back rather than forward. What's in the past has already happened, it cannot be changed. You will have better outcomes if you choose to look forward and how to adapt and change the situation that you're currently experiencing. The fifth card is the Four of Wands Upright. Notably, it is the only upright card. The Four of Wands represents celebration. It is the satisfaction that you are making progress. In terms of this reading, it's answering the question, what should I not overlook? Don't forget to see the success in front of you. Take a breath. Celebrate the good that you have witnessed. Celebrate the good in the other person who you are currently quarreling with. As you focus on the positive aspects of your relationship, it will make it easier to find unity and overcome whatever the current situation is. Card number six. What can be set aside as an insolvable issue or something you can agree to disagree on? We have the King of Pentacles reversed. The King of Pentacles reversed for card six is an interesting one because it, it typically indicates that there is plenty, that things are going well. In terms of what can be set aside as an issue you don't need to worry about, that you can just set off and essentially agree to disagree on, it sounds like it has something to do with money and what each of you considers to be success. It is okay to have a different image of success than the people around you. Not only is it okay, it's encouraged. As long as you feel successful at the end of this, that's important. If you can reach the point where both of you feel successful, even if you're working on different things, even better. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the peacemaking spread. Do you agree with my interpretations of these cards? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Typically, I have been releasing a tarot video in the morning and then a mythology video in the afternoon. If that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. That way you'll be notified when they become available. I also do larger videos, but those are typically uh, few and far between and will typically be released over the weekends. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.